um good evening guys um i hope y'all are doing fine hope everyone is fine um good evening wherever you may be uh, god bless i just wanted to do this short video how to how to install or how to hack install um nvidia drivers you know let's assuming your, your your graphics card is no longer supported officially by nvidia so i was able to um install so uh, you know I've, I've installed at least two drivers now from last year um my graphics card is nvidia quadro k um 2100m nvidia quadro k 2100m um, the last driver for my graphics card was from, uh, I think, October in 2021. That's 427.60. But I was able to install this driver here, 474.04, as well as 474.14. The, the first one was from October last year. 474.14 is from December last year. So this is, I don't know, this is probably, this video is probably, will probably benefit those who have NVIDIA Quadro graphics cards um, the most, at least those who have the mobile versions of NVIDIA Quadro graphics cards. So um, there's a guy, there's a, a dude on YouTube, I used his video, so I would advise you to consult his video because his video is actually the, 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 the reference video for this my video in fact if you haven't checked his video out i would advise you to check his video out because this is just basically adding a few modifications and maybe finishing finishing touches um that worked for me you understand uh, as it relates to his own video so if you've if if after you've watched his video i would advise you to just um when it comes to the 13th minute of his video 13th minute of his video he he asks you you ask you to delete a single line with the the containing the i think the hardware ids of the graphics card that uh, that driver that you want to hack install is actually meant for so but rather than rather than deleting just one line of that um that containing the hardware id containing the hardware id i deleted the two lines, the first one that he deleted as well as the one immediately after, because the one immediately after is most likely also for that, that graphics card that the driver was actually meant for. So just do everything that he did, but in addition to what he did, delete the next line and then, of course, replace that zero, you know, those three digits, replace it with the digits that were there before. You understand for the one that you replaced with your own um, graphics card you know the hardware id for your own graphics card then um when it gets to the fourth like 14 25 that's 25 seconds into the 14th minute of that video 14 25 just do the same thing rather than deleting just the first line containing the name of the graphics card that that driver is meant for for example uh, GTX 860M. You know, in my own case, it was uh, NVIDIA Quadro K2200M. So rather than just deleting the first line, delete the first line as well as the next line. You understand? Immediately below it, because that next line is also most likely for that same graphics card. Then replace replace both lines with your the name of your own graphics card. So those are just the major additions to to his own video which i made then please you also have to note i i don't know um the the i noticed that there are three there are three um folders containing the those hardware ids that you make modifications to for nvidia quadro the first one is nv nvblwi then mv nv as in v as in verb mvblwi the next folder containing um those had those um things that you modify is mvdmwi 
N V V the same V for verb M V D M W I. Then the third folder is N V M I W I. M V M I W I. So this is specifically for those who have NVIDIA Quadro graphics cards. I don't know about those who have NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, but based on what I saw in his own video, I'll say it's uh, I think it's the folder is MV, uh, MVMWI, I think. MVMWI.inf. So that's that's basically all there is to it. But there's just one more thing I want you to note. Just note that after every after after you fast forward to the part where he disables the driver um, driver signature enforcement, just know that after every normal restart on your system, that driver um, signature enforcement will be re-enabled. You understand? So if you want to install that graphics driver, I'd advise you not to install. I would advise you not to select the clean install version because that clean install version will most likely cause a restart on your system. And after that restart takes place, while the driver is trying to install, that driver will not install because the driver signature, the, um, um, this, the, the disabling of that driver um, signature enforcement would have been re-enabled. So that's all. Um, thank you guys and all the best.